Capricorn, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, beautiful soul, you can't rely on anybody in your life uh, to catch up to you for you to keep going on your journey. You have to constantly be evolving and you have to be open to receiving from the universe your guidance and continuously moving forward with your guidance, whether or not somebody around you is behaving in a way that allows you to feel comfortable to do so, or whether or not you have somebody that's assisting you, you've got to be in complete coordinates with whatever it is that is coming through for you, because that's going to be for you to get to whatever you want. So if you want healthier relationships and more of a, a partnership with your relationship, maybe when it comes to a business, um, feeling like you're on the same path, feeling maybe even feeling just stable in your relationships, attracting in a relationship that feels stable, right? In order for that, to go down in order for that to um, manifest itself, you have to remember that whatever is showing up for you is going to be for you and you have to move forward with it. Now, when we are sometimes blinded by a perception or by a, 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 a thought or a belief that we have created from thinking it multiple times, remember a belief is just a thought we've continued to think, right? So it's, it's an established belief because we keep thinking it, right? That's all that is. Would be a good time to make sure you're getting a lot of rest and just giving yourself that time to energetically uh, raise your frequency, energetically upgrade your frequency, because no matter what is happening, it's happening for you. And right now we can see that you're on and going through a bit of a divine detour. So in order for you to really progress here, you want to make sure that you're always in tune with what's going on in your more of your internal state. So your emotions are going to rise to the surface. And then so when we feel really emotional, uh, we have a tendency to want to react off of those emotions. But emotions are kind of just a, a gas gauge on the car. They're not like the actual gas itself. So we want to make sure that we're acknowledging the emotions. And that's why your affirmation today is I listen to my feelings. And this message reads, my feelings are my saviors. They guide me to safety and help me make the right choice. My feelings don't lie. They are always accurate. I trust myself and my feelings are guided are guiding me home. I respect my inner voice as it connects me to the universe. I listen to my feelings and trust their guidance. And your question is, what are my feelings trying to tell me? So the thing is, you have this feeling within you, right? This deeper feeling, the difficulty with emotions, especially when we've been practicing certain thoughts around certain situations for a long time, is we feel more emotional, specifically if we've been saying things on repeat that are not true, negative things or... Um, you know, uh, witnessing the lack in our lives that we, that we practice a lot of emotion. We want to make sure when that emotion comes up, we let it come up and, and, and leave our, our bodies, energy bodies, so we can listen to our feeling state and our deeper truth. Because again, we really feel like there is something that you're called towards, but it's almost like you're waiting for somebody or you're waiting for someone to catch up with you. And you're just, you, you got to go for it because you have this king of wands energy, this ambitious, energetic go for it energy. And if you don't, if you don't, you know, connect with this and if or not connect, but if you don't move forward with this energy and just do what you need to do, and that means prioritize it. So when I was called to, uh, from the spirit world to start working in the spiritual practices, which was new for me years ago, I realized I was being called for this and I had no idea what I could, was experiencing, but I just knew that I had to prioritize it. So that means that I had to take time away from my husband and I's life and I had to prioritize. I woke up early. I spent hours in the morning with myself connecting to spirit and practicing certain spiritual practices. And then I even in the afternoon, in the evening times, broke free and said, you know what? I have to do this. I have to do this. This is something that I'm called to do. So uh, it, there's, this, there's this realization in life when you have to do the things that you're called to do. And you have to do them. You have to recognize when you're being called for something and you've got to set the boundaries with yourself, with, with, with others or with 
how you're viewing something. You have to become emotionally independent and you have to allow the universe to guide you forward because your guidance forward is your evolution. And when you're free, a lot of the times we don't want to leave people behind or we want people to come with us, right? We want our spouses to like, you know, be with us and we want to share this, but a lot the spiritual path is very, can be very lonely at times, right? It's a, it's a very independent path. It's a very individual path. And so we have to um, become and feel emotionally independent in what it is that we're doing, not feeling like someone has to be there with us, but we do it for us because it's what we're called to do. And the more you spend time connecting to your inner being and your higher self and your divinity, then you're going to feel that feeling so much more profoundly. And so you're going to be able to be okay with releasing um, the need for others to be with us and we can just go off and do it. And the reason why this is important and the reason why this is beneficial for those people that you don't want to leave behind and for your life circumstances is because as you say, you know what, I'm going to take the lead back and I'm going to do the things that I know I'm called to do. And you keep doing that. You keep progressing. You evolve your frequency. So that means you rise up you level up, you tell the universe, you show the universe, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm listening, and I'm, I'm participating. And then the universe says, Capricorn's ready. And the minute that you command your energy and take your energy back, that's when you're going to be able to receive more from the universe. And guess what? Those people that you didn't want to leave behind or those beautiful people in your life that you want to also share the abundance with, they're going to feel your energy. And they're too going to be, have to rise, they're going to rise to the occasion. Now, at first, they're going to see a mirror and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you're not the person that I thought you were. And they're going to, they're going to be resistant to it. And you just keep doing you. You just keep evolving. You just keep progressing. And you just keep having the intention and the knowing that them too, those people too, will also rise up to greet you at that higher level. But you've got to keep doing this for you now, beautiful soul. You cannot resist the path that is laid out in front of you because then you will be resisting your purpose. And that energy will not feel good for you. So if you don't know what the heck we're talking about, or you don't even know where to begin, you start by making sure that you are connecting back to the body by doing things that connect, make you feel good. And taking a walk in nature is a huge one. It's so underrated and it needs to be brought into everybody's life. You go for a walk outside in the forest, in the nature, the energy clears your energy, it clears your emotional state. You connect deeper to your inner being. Be at peace with the nature. Don't, you don't have to listen to podcasts or music. Forget all of that. It's not a time for anything except for you to just be with yourself, right? So you connect back to that that will allow you to feel more inner will towards moving forward with your endeavors. When you connect back to your true self and you connect and you, and you create this independence with yourself, emotional independence, you're going to be able to see that there are multiple opportunities around you and that how you've been viewing something, there's another way to view it. There's another way to do it. If how you're looking at a business or creating something or writing that book or progressing your relationship of how you're seeing it, is in a, is, is the same way you've always been seeing it, right? You're looking at like, how can I make this better? How can we progress this? Know that by you doing other things in your life that are progressive or that are intentional to connect you to your inner being, how you show up to that book or that business or that relationship will be from a higher place. It's whenever we try to fix something from the energy that we're in, that things stay stagnant. So we have to evolve. And that's why we have to consistently evolve in mind, body, and soul so that we are constantly evolving and seeing things from a higher, clearer perspective. And that's going to be when the energy starts to clear and everything's going to feel good for you. Everybody, for you to reach the desired relationship that we know you want to have, and whether that's a relationship with money or love or whatever, right? You have to understand that your frequency must be at a place where that person or money wants to be around you. Put it like this, right? They want to be around you. Well, who do you want to be around? Someone that's confident, someone that's progressing in life, someone that come, shows up with good energy, right? Someone that's, that's always doing something that makes them feel good. That's energy we want to be around. So whenever we get stagnant, we say, you know, we, we, we say yes to sitting on the couch and maybe just hanging out and maybe eating more food than we should with our partners because, you know, it's comfortable, you know? That's only going to get so far for so long before the other, before you start to build a practice around comfortability and comfortability doesn't, doesn't help anybody. Getting comfortable in life is like the, is like a, a silent killer. We always want to be progressing. We always want to be challenging ourselves. We always want to be facing adversity. So we're always evolving, right? So just know that right now, in order for you to reach that level of satisfaction in your life that you're desiring, it's always about tuning into what you really want and making it happen for yourself. And that's going to be 
history, how everything starts to evolve. Universe's message, they chose you. Universe says, you might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit, but there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation. And that means that they want to be with you on your journey, progressing with you. But sometimes people need help. They need help progressing because they're stuck in their own energy. So what do we do? The ones that understand this, we continuously progress. So we can bring progressive energy and shower the people that we love with it. And yes, it's going to be hard. And yes, it's going to be lonely. And yes, you're going to feel disconnected at times, but it's going to be worth it because at the end of it, they're going to be there right by your side on the same frequency as you, because you stuck in, held in, and stayed consistent with the things that you know you were guided into. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.